Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'll be presenting nerfed Luchador against buffed Heimdall. But before we get into that let me introduce you to LD Player 9. As most of you know LD Player is my favorite emulator and the one I use for test servers. Among many other emulators I have tried I believe it has overall the best optimization for war robots. I have been using it for a very long time now and that's why I can confidently recommend them and their products. Recently they have released their newest product LD Player 9. It's their most powerful emulator version up to date with Android 9 and a new kernel engine. The performance has been vastly improved. A lot of optimizations have been done to memory management and screen rendering. With this problems of random crashes and instabilities should be improved to a noticeable degree. I personally haven't had any crashes for as long as I have used LD Player 9 in the past few weeks. LD Player with their newest product ensures a lot of effort spent in compatibility and stability. Games now should respond faster with much less freezing issues and overall higher frame rates. This whole video was recorded on the new LD Player 9 with highest graphics set on war robots with 60 FPS mode on a 2K native resolution monitor. You will see how smooth the gameplay and the comparison will go. Alright, I'll be leaving a download link in description and pin comment. Make sure to download it using that link. After downloading and getting into LD Player 9, go to the settings. Here in advanced settings, I recommend going to customize and typing in your monitor's native resolution along with DPI set to a number close to your screen's original DPI. In the CPU and RAM section, I highly recommend picking up recommended values because that's been working the best for me. You can fiddle around with those values as you wish to find the best settings for yourself. After these steps, I don't recommend touching other stuff on settings for now, especially for war robots since default settings will be perfectly fine for most of the users. Coming to the keyboard customization, go to advanced settings, then edit combat layout. Firstly, customize your WR layout as you wish. After that, here is how I customize my keyboard and assign certain keys. For more details, I have a specific video on that linked down below. Another worthy mention here is the record macro function. You basically drag it into anywhere. Assign a key to your macro, let's say star for example, then you left click start record operation. You can perform any sort of action like for example collecting workshop components and reproduce the same items. Then you press stop. Next time you want to do these steps, you just press that specified key and LT player automatically does the whole process for you. This is shortly how macros work. Alright, now with everything out of the way, let's get into our comparison.
Reaching for the moon, the moon, the moon. 